Hey YouTube, how's it going? Rob here. Uh, today I have a special video for you guys. Uh, it's going to be one of those deck tech videos for Magic the Gathering. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos from my channel. And without further ado, let's get started. So I've been going around Omnicad, um, checking out different decks and stuff. Um, about two weeks ago I did a deck uh, it was Naya with Exert. I didn't really do that well in my uh, local uh, Friday Night Magic. Um, so I did some searching around and I played this deck before uh, Zombies. And Omnicast brought in some pretty cool zombie creatures. And today I have a video for you guys and it's going to be all about this Zombies. So. One of the first cards that I pulled, or should I say used for this deck, is this guy right here. Relentless Dead. It's 2 mana cost, 2-2, two, two, zombie with menace. When it, when it dies, you may pay 1 and return it to your hand. You have to pay 1 swamp to do that. And then also when it dies, you may pay X. That can be any number of mana that you want and you can return a zombie creature from your graveyard with that amount of mana cost from your graveyard to the battlefield and I run four out of them in this new deck another card that's really good for this deck Diagraph Colossus zombie giant three cost two two um, it gets a plus one plus one counter for every zombie that you have in the graveyard and whenever you cast a zombie spell you make a 2-2 zombie creature that comes in tapped. He's pretty awesome. Uh, from the Shadows of Innistrad block uh, and I also ran zombies during then but Diagraph Colossus, Relentless Dead and some other cards that are really good with zombie support that's what I ran. Another card that's really good for this deck, the one and only Lord, Lord of the Accursed. Three mana cost, other zombies get plus one, plus one, and you can pay two and tap them, and your zombies get menace until the end of the turn, which is pretty awesome because we haven't had a Lord since Dragons of Tarkir, and after he went away, zombies were pretty useless. So when Omnicat brought this guy out, oh man, I was really happy for it. So I run four of this in the deck as well. Another card that is very good from this set, Wayward Servant. One black and one white. You're probably thinking, white? Zombies? Really? Yeah. Zombies are now in white as well. And this guy's really cool. Whenever another zombie enters under your control, you gain one life and your opponents lose a life. And this deck makes tons of them. So it's going to be like this. Gain one, lose one. I gain one, they lose one. I gain one, they lose one. You can have as much as 40 health within a couple of turns if you don't lose your creatures. But still, I run three of him in the deck. I mean run one more if this doesn't work out but so far with three it's been working quite well um another card that's really good even for a common this is a pretty good card finding mummy it is uh, one colorless and one white so this is one of those white zombies and whenever in, when a, a zombie enters the battlefield you can tap an artifact or a creature and with the last set kaladesh Artifacts are the big thing. That zombie doesn't like it. So attach to those artifacts and or creatures. It's up to you. Let's see here. Um, I want... I run one fatal push. I run also one on the sideboard. Uh, this means destroy target creature with two or less mana. And if a creature left the... Battlefield, four or less, which 
it's pretty good. Um, another card that's really good, especially with zombies and vampires even. Kalitas, Trader of Get. It is a two mana and two swamp creature, legendary creature, vampire warrior. It has life link, and if a non-token creature an opponent controls would die. Exile that card and put a zombie onto the battlefield. That's a 2 2 zombie token. And you can pay 2 and 1 black to sacrifice a vampire or a zombie and put 2 counters on Kalidus. I want 2 of them. I don't like to run any more than 2 of a legendary creature because if you keep drawing legendary creatures, the rule is if there's one on the battlefield and you play another one, the old one has to go. So if you have any counters on your current one and then you place a new one in, that has to go away. So it's kind of a useless. Um, another card that's really good, Dread Wanderer. It's a 1 mana cost, 2-1, zombie. When it enters the battlefield, it enters in tapped, and you may play him. You, actually, sorry, you can return him from the graveyard by paying 2 and 1 black from the graveyard to the battlefield. You can only activate it during a sorcery, and if you have one or fewer cards in your hand, I mean, it's not that bad, but um, one drop, you need them. Speaking of one drops, one of the best ones for zombies, Crypt Breaker. It is a one mana cost, one one zombie. You can pay one in a black and tap it, discard one card, and put a two two zombie onto the battlefield. And you may tap three zo untapped zombies you control. You can draw one card and lose one life. Since you're going to be making a ton of zombies, and if you don't want to, I don't know, discard cards, you can just tap um, three of them during like your opponent's end step, uh, draw a card, lose a life. Easy as that. Uh, another card that's pretty good, Dark Salvation, it's double X and black. Um, you put, target player puts an X, 2-2 two, two black zombie creatures onto the battlefield, and then up to one target creature gets a negative one, negative one, that's at the end of the turn, for each zombie that player controls. So, since you're going to be having a ton of zombies with this deck, uh, this is a great card to use. I run two of it, and it's kind of cheap if you want to purchase one. Um... But yes, it's a very good card. Um, big creatures on your opponent's side of the field will probably go away. Uh, small creatures, forget it. They're really gone. Yeah, that's a really good card. This is also a really good card to use for any kind of black deck. Uh, Grasp of Darkness, double black. Target creature gets negative four, negative four. And I play this before with black decks. I run four of it in the deck. And minus four, minus four, that's pretty much anything that's small. It's gone. Uh, this is a new card from the new set. Inoketra's name. Uh, zombies you control get plus two, plus one. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And it's a one and one planes. And it's an instant. Uh, very good whenever your zombies are attacking. Uh, just play it. Zombies get plus two, plus one, and if you have any other creatures on the battlefield, they get plus one, plus one, more damage, early more, that's uh, just great. Another card that's in the deck, not a zombie, but pretty good guy, Scrap Heat Scounder. It's a two mana cost artifact creature, it's a construct, uh, can't block, but um, pay one and one black, exile creature card from your graveyard to return it from the graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, it's pretty good. 3-2 uh, two for 2. Can't be wrong with that. I'm happy with it. Uh, another card in the deck. This is a new card from Omnicath. Time to Reflect. It is a 1 mana cost planes instant. So if, you, if one of your zombies got blocked <clears throat> or was blocked, sorry, was blocked or did some blocking, and your opponent's creature stayed on the battlefield, you can play this and exile their card, their creature card. Which, since you're going to be playing a lot of zombies, this is going to come in handy. I only run two of it, but still, 
Hey, it's pretty good. Let's see here. Uh, another card that's really good. Liliana, the last hope. One mana, then two black. It's a planeswalker, it's Liliana. Uh, plus two, I'm sorry, plus one. Up to one target creature, gets minus two, minus one, until the end of the turn. Uh, minus two, put the top two cards of your library into the graveyard. And then return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And then her emblem, which is minus seven, with it. At the beginning of your, of, uh, I'm sorry, your end set. You get X, two, two zombie creatures, where X is the amount of zombies you control. And since you're going to be having a, like a lot of zombies, guess what? You make more, more zombies. More the merrier. The better, the better. Let's see here. All the, the only other thing I didn't go over were the lands. I run two concealed courtyards. Uh, you can play it if you have two or less, um, two or fewer other lands. Pretty good card. Uh, another card, that's okay. Four Second Sanctuary. It's just a double land card that's both black and white. It just and just tapped. I run 12 Swamps. And six planes. With it, there is 21 lands. And there is, let's see, the rest are creatures and instants, and some sorceries, and one planeswalker. There you have it, folks, my black white zombies deck. If you want to go over this fully, uh, if, if I, if I uh, showed you guys not enough, I have an account on Tapped Out. It's called Terror Time again, it's under Contra Kids 7. Uh, you can look me up under there. I'll leave a description in the. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, for the full deck. Uh, but anyways, you guys, thanks again for watching this video. Uh, best of luck to you guys out there in the match to gathering community. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks again, guys.